Now, I got to talk about the Clydesdales. All right. And believe me, this I'm still on the same topic. All right. Because Budweiser came out with this ad after all this uh, Dylan Mulvaney controversy. And it's a, you know, it's the Clydesdale walking through past landmark, landmarks and stuff like that. But, you know, it's seriously, it's like way too, it's like 30 seconds too much of horse. There's way too much horse. And it's not even just a horse. It's a Clydesdale. You know what Clydesdales are? All right. Um, they are like one tier below unicorn in terms of how scary they are. They look, Clydesdales look like they are ridden by giants. Okay. If you've ever seen a Clydesdale, you know, I'm 5'11". Clydesdale's shoulder is still like up here on me, sometimes even higher. They are huge. Regular horses are scary. They're, they're like five and a half feet where their back is. But those are terrifying. But Clydesdales look like they're, they must have been ridden by ogres in, from Scotland or something like that. The ogres of Scotland. Nine foot tall, half giant, half redhead <laughs> monsters riding Clydesdales. It's a terrifying, and you're not going to win me over, Bud Light, by using a horse. That's actually, in many ways, you know, Dylan Mulvaney is a dangerous, uh, dangerous to our culture. What if, what but if they were using the horse to make glue. That's that's awesome. I got to move these headphones around, man. This is driving me nuts. All right, Dylan Mulvaney is a big danger to culture. All right, but a Clydesdale is an actual danger to people. So you're not going to win me over like that. I know all these people are out there saying like, oh, too, too little, too late, Anheuser-Busch. You're not understanding the real reason why you should dislike Bud Light, Bud Light and Budweiser and Bud, Anheuser-Busch. It's because they have always used horses. Clydesdales. Take, you know, you need to understand. So what does... You know, it's, it's interesting because, like, once I saw that Clydesdale commercial, I had a nightmare that night about the uh, uh, fire mares from Crawl. Do you remember those? I, I think they were, like, uh, Clydesdales in the movie. They cast. Yeah. They run and they set things on fire. Just, just on wildfires alone, they should have been hunted to extinction. How did they allow those creatures to exist? Terrifying nightmares about the fire mares. Anyway, Anheuser-Busch, what do they need to do? to solve this problem. Anheuser-Busch, what do you need to do to increase your beer sales, to make sure that even a guy like me will go out there and buy some Bud Light and even drink it on this show? <sighs> if you did something like this, if you put out an ad that said, we're sorry, men are men, women are women, and there is no transit between. 